Ironside at Sugar 5-2. Lost contact with you. What is your present course and speed? Over. Left to course 285. Where the hell are you? So I'm taking a shortcut through the cloud bank. Open? Yeah, between two cloud banks. Uh, 270. What'll I do? Come right to 300 and you may intercept. All right. Trying to find him for the past 15 minutes. Can hear him, but can't spot him. Trigger five, over. At that altitude, he's beyond radar range. Want him to climb up into the beam so we can get a blip? No, we can't waste any more time. They'd be above the overcast anyway. Have them resume search independently. Hello, Sugar Five, Sugar Five Two. This is Red Base. Resume independent search on a Stein course and altitude. Acknowledge, over. This is Sugar Five. We'll go out. This is Sugar Five Two. We'll go out. This is Red Base. Identify yourself and give position. Over. This is Andrews. You ought to see it. They're all over the ocean. Holy smoke. I see our trigger five out here, sir, but we don't know whether it's correct or not. Hello, Andrews. This is the group commander. What is your position? What is your position? My, my position? Uh, uh, just a moment, sir. It's about, uh, well, it, it's about, uh, it, it looks like about, about latitude five degrees. 30 minutes north, and uh, uh, longitude 152 degrees, 30 minutes east. I think that's right. Sure is an awful lot of ships. Pass the word to radio home there, Bob. Stand by to launch attack groups. Contact report. Hello, Amos. Like that. Contact report. 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 What is enemy fleet composition, course, and speed? Over. This is Andrews again. Enemy course, zero, zero. Making pretty good speed. 20 knot, maybe. Only see one carrier, but it's an awfully big one. And there's some cruisers or battleships, transports. Looks like 15 or so destroyers. Hey, someone's shooting at me. Goodbye, go back later. Fly control. Pass the word. Pilots, man your planes. Pilots, man your planes. Pilots, man your planes. <laughs> Oh, 
hold it. Come back into formation. Now, uh, this is the position given us by the scout who made the contact report at 0638. It must be incorrect, because in the next 90 minutes, the Japs couldn't have made better than 30 miles, and this point should have been the interception point. The group commander's already formed a scouting line. Yes, Admiral. As soon as he reached the position, he found no sign of the Japs. When that scouting pilot gets back, check his plot and send him to me. Aye, aye, sir. If he gets back... Hello, red base. Hello, red base. Contact. Contact. This is Sugar 5. Over. Go ahead, Sugar 5. This is red base. Over. This is Sugar 5. Enemy fleet. Longitude 153 degrees, 15 minutes east. Latitude 5 degrees, 20 minutes north. Repeat position. Longitude 153 degrees, 15 minutes east. Latitude 5 degrees, 20 minutes north. Repeat back to me the position. Over. 327, 120. Hello, Sugar 5. This is Red Base. Position. Longitude 153 degrees, 15 minutes east. Latitude 5 degrees, 20 minutes north. Over. This is Sugar 5. That is correct. Enemy course 060. Speed 20 knots. Amplifying report follows. This is Wilson out. Hello, John. Hello, John. This is Freddy. Over. Go ahead, Freddy. This is John. Heard Sugar 5's contact report. What do you figure my vector? Hello, John. This is Freddy. Vector 100. Vector 100, distance 45 miles, distance 45 miles, over. Exactly what I meant, Freddy. 15 minutes away. This is John, out. Attention all air group. Attention all air group. New vector. New vector. Did you arm that bomb? on deck. She's completely knocked out. Three direct hits on the flight deck, four torpedo hits. She's on fire and exploding like a string of firecrackers. She can't stay afloat long. 
One cruiser's been sunk, another's dead in the water, and a third one collided with a cannon, and they're both in bad shape. The Hellcats are working them over right now. Is that an SPD in the water? Fox 21, bracket that. That's it was Rossi. Say again? Rossi, new guy. Roger. John, John, this is Hank. Two 10,000 ton transports sank over here. Holy cow, this is wonderful. The Hellcat just sank another tin can. Skipper, Skipper, there's a zero on my tail. Get him off, will you? Wilco. Spat that cruiser again. Thanks, Skipper. Damn guns, Jay. Hello, Mike. I'll take this zero. Gas getting low. Box nine. Let's make another run. Got a hydraulic leak, but not serious. Hit that cruiser again, Peters. Come over here. Hey, Bill. Stay with me, kid. Stay with me. Get the dive flapped up, stupid. Hello, Peters. What's that cruiser AA? Saw birds get ahead. Think I did, too. Hello, John. Hello, John. Ammo zero. Ammo zero. This is John. Clear the air. Clear the air. Red base. This is John. Attack completed. Over. Hello, John. This is Arthur. Well done. This is John. Thank you, sir. Arthur. Red group, this is John. Rendezvous, 12 o'clock. Rendezvous, 12 o'clock. Station four, aye, aye. Hold your fire, man. It's a friendly. Aviator, the carrier task force bearing and distance on the blinker. Aye, aye, sir. I guess that Airedale can't read. I'll have to show him.
we conclude today's performance. After this routine navigation hop, and during which we have done nothing but discover the entire Japanese Navy and enable our colleagues to sink it, we are now heading for home on a collision course. You are practically in the sack right now. I thank you. attack group have either been recovered or accounted for, except one Hellcat. The pilot's name is Peters. But we're getting a blip with an IFF indication about 60 miles northeast, and another blip without IFF very close to there. Those indications are merging, sir. Uh, looks as though your Mr. Peters may have found himself a bandit. Two blips have merged, sir. Looks like one aircraft, and there's no IFF showing. Peters must have been shot down. Hello, Red Base. Hello, Red Base. This is Fox 2 3. Grand Slam. One target. What the hell goes on out there? Commander, I got a Tony. What happened? I got a Tony, Commander. So I heard, but what happened? Well, sir, I got separated from my division during the attack and I overshot point option. But I refigured my nav and I was on my way home when all of a sudden I spotted a Tony. Well, sir, I, I made a high side on him and he went down in flames. And after you shot him down, you turned off your IFF? IFF? Oh, no, sir, I... I didn't turn it off. I guess I didn't have it on in the first place. I see. Tell me about this Tony you shot down. I've never seen one. I guess that Jap never knew what hit him. I had a couple of thousand feet altitude advantage on Good him. Good visibility? No, sir, very poor visibility. And he kept ducking in between a couple of big clouds. But you spotted him right away quick for a Tony. Uh, that's right, sir. How? How? Well, you know that straight leading edge and the big oil cooler under the nose? Yes, sir, that's it. That was a P-40. Now you know why you're here. You're taking the place of those six men who still might be sitting in the game. 
If they hadn't tried to bluff without holding even a single pair. I knew them, I told you that. I knew they weren't going to make the grade because they had one fundamental thing wrong with them, every one of them. They figured that operational training was eight weeks of school. It isn't. It's where you learn to be a naval aviator, a combat pilot. They thought that you could wait until you got to the fleet before you learned your business. That's like trying to fill an inside straight. I could have told them that when they came aboard. It was too late then. And it's too late now. For you. I wish I could have told you that on the day you ended operational training. Because then I could have made Christians out of you. Now you're on your own. And I only hope you've got religion. This is a tough game. The elements are against you. The sea is against you. The enemy is against you. I wish to God I could tell you that on the day you enter operational training. Because then I could make you understand that today another guy is entering operational training. And he's tough competition. He doesn't skip blinker. He doesn't drowse through navigation. He's good on tactics and smart on gunnery runs. He knows his plane. And it's a good plane, gentlemen, whether it's a Hap, a Zeke, or a Tony. Sure, he's a Jap. This competitor of yours who entered operational training today. And don't kid yourself that your 2.8 is going to stack up against his 3.9.